In this video, you will learn how to create this fully simulated March Madness bracket predictor model. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. So I got a video for anyone who is big into March Madness, especially if you're a bracket nerd and like building out different scenarios. I'm going to walk you through from start to finish how to create this model, which is a full simulation of the NCAA tournament. You can see I'm refreshing the, the model now and the teams and the matchups all change. This is 2023 information in here today, but as we get closer to the 2024 bracket, whenever that's released, obviously you could put in the 2024 teams with your probabilities and be able to simulate different bracket scenarios and be able to use these whenever you fill out bracket pools or just uh, to play around with. I think it's a really fun tool and uh, I hope you hope you like it. So I'm gonna just walk through at a high level the finished product and then we'll build from scratch a new model. So I have it broken down by the rounds, and then we have just some summary here of the Final Four Championship and Champion. And then I'm hitting F9 just to refresh, and you can see it changes based on probabilities I've defined. I have each region broken down so you can look at the matchups, look at some base probabilities. This is historical win percentage for each one of the, the matchups by round and by seed. And then we'll add in some manual adjustments to allow you to be able to add your flavor to the bracket based on the different teams and how you feel like the bracket's going to shake out. So that's for each one of the, the regions. And then we have a final four tab, which allows us to look at the roll up of the different regions and how those probabilities will play out for the national championship game. And then ultimately the national champion. I have some supporting tabs here where Ken Palm each year will release his predictions for each round and probabilities for each team. 538 used to provide this, but that's no longer a platform that's doing sports modeling. So right now I, I consider the Ken Palm model one of the best for March Madness probabilities. And then I also have in here and I have a link in the description to the men's basketball tournament data from 2001 through 2020. Three, it's a free download of this data here with um, all the detail that goes into each one of these matchups over the past 22 years to get these probabilities. So I think this is a really good baseline to, to build your model off of what's happened over the past 22 years. Or if you want to go back further and capture since the, the field expanded to 64 teams, you could go back to 1985. And I have those probabilities listed here as well. You could also put in some manual probabilities as a base so there's a lot of flexibility with this model, but at the crux of it, I think it's being able to look at each region in isolation, look at rounds one, two, three, and four. So you get to the final four for that region, and then we can look at it at a consolidated basis. So hopefully this is exciting to you. And I, I really like this model. I've been using it for many years and uh, I've, I've been known to fill out many a hundred brackets each year because it's just something I really enjoy and just kind of thinking about the what ifs and the, the possibilities. So with that said, you see the model and I will have a link in the description to this finished product. So if you really like the idea of having this model and be able to play around with it, but don't want to go through actually creating it yourself, I do have a link to it. It's on my Etsy page for purchase if you're interested. But we'll pause there. We'll open a blank sheet and I will just walk you through how to create this. Okay, I got a blank Excel workbook pulled up here. So there's going to be a first thing we need to do is go up to file and you're going to go down to options and then click the formulas option and it's going to default to automatic and you want to change that to manual and deselect the recalculate workbook before saving and click OK. And the reason for doing that is we're going to be using the RAND function, which will automatically generate random probabilities it's an Excel function, it's a default. And so in order for that just to not constantly happen, we're going to do manual calculations so we can control when we want to re-simulate a bracket versus having it constantly be recalculated each time we click a cell. So just want to highlight that that is important. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to make sense of your brackets because they're going to be constantly simulating. That's step one. Step two is let's just create some of the, the general formatting so we have a bracket structure to, to work with that's going to look like you know, the finished product and we're going to just walk through one region the logic and the setup is going to be the same for the other three regions so walk you through 
the South region today. And then I'll talk through the national championship and championship matchup because that logic's a little bit different. And then you can apply that to the other regions to build out the full 64 team bracket. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put in our seeds and then we'll have a, a team and we can go ahead and just do some formatting. We'll do the thick outside borders for our seed here. And this will just be our team. So I'll put in Alabama because that's who was in the, the one seed in 2023 and you can copy that down 16 times just so we have all of the south region bracket built out from the first round perspective okay so you can see we have 16 as our count there and let's go ahead and change these seats to be correct Eight, nine, five, twelve, four, thirteen, six, verse eleven, three, verse fourteen, seven, verse ten, and then two, verse fifteen, and then we can go ahead and remove the teams there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the the teams that were in the South Region last year. Just copy those in. You can you obviously manually input over the 2024. Brackets a release, what teams make up that region, but there is our South region you know, initial round of 64. And then from there we can take and copy that over. Let's just remove the team in the C because we don't know what that's going to be. So this will be round of 32. Copy that all out just to make the bracket look like it will in the end. Let's go ahead and reduce the column width here. Here as well. Okay, let's grab this again. So this will be the Sweet 16. Okay. Okay, and then we have our Elite Eight. So we will just split the difference on these. And then our final four, which will split the difference again. Then we can add some connector lines in here just to make those. So we'll go down to draw border. And then we will change the line style to be this thicker one. And we'll just draw in. I'm doing this, you, you, you can be type a about this or not but for me i like to i want the bracket to actually look like a bracket so i am just putting it into format you do this once and we can copy in this copy this down to the next region um, so a little bit of leg work here at the start but i think it'll just make it look better and you'll be able to make more sense of it so there is our our south region bracket again this is going to be modeling what happened in 2023 as far as the bracket structure and you could play around with it for how any future years that you want to build out. And so we could just copy all this down and do the other regions and then you'd flip it and do it for the, the right side of the bracket. So that's, that's step one is just to get your, your base bracket built out. And then what I'm going to do is create another tab we can call this South. This is going to be where we will add in our, We'll grab our team names, we'll grab the seeds, and then we will actually be able to populate some probabilities here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in the seed number. And we can do our, grab these real quick. Okay. We can just do a once we update the bracket, we can go just do a lookup, grab our regions section here. So we're going to look up column one, return column two. We want that to be an exact match. And just drag that formula down. And so this is where the, the not generating the formulas 
automatically can be confusing. So you can see it shows Alabama whenever I drag down that formula. If you do F9, it'll recalculate. And then you can see that the formula is going to calculate. So just if you see an output that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, you got to remember that manual calculations are turned on. It's not going to function maybe how you're, you're used to Excel functioning. And then we can go ahead and put in our rounds. So here is where we're going to bring in some base probabilities. And I have a link in the description to a YouTube video I've done where I looked at 22 years of March Madness data. That's a completely free download. So you're welcome to, to grab that data. I'm going to go ahead and bring that into a new spreadsheet. We can just call that base probabilities and grab the, the data now, copy that over. And so this is going to look at by round and by seed, the win probability. So round one, one seed has a 97.7% chance of winning. And we can go ahead and use this as our, our base here. So we'll do a VLOOKUP off of the seed. Make that relative reference to be the column. So F4 until you get the dollar sign in the front. Put a comma. And we'll go to our table. And you can go ahead and reference the whole table and do F4 to lock in that. And we're going to bring in the second column for our first round probability. So a two, and then a comma, and do an exact match false. Enter, and then just drag that formula down to a control D. And then we'll do F9 to get those probabilities coming over and calculating. So there's the first round. And then you could drag that over to the right and then just change our columns to be a three, a four, and a five, this will get us through the final four, drag those down and do F9. So there is a really good base starting point for our South region. So we have our matchups, the seed and the expected win percentage as they go across each round. And from there, we can go ahead and maybe we could do some formatting here just so we can make more sense of these numbers because they're all just in one sheet there. So we'll go back, do an outside border there, and then we can go ahead and do that for each round, segment those off. We can add those borders for each of the, the first round matchups. Grab our 116, our 89, our 512, our 413. And I'm just using F4 after I've done that once, and that just repeats the last function. Excel, it's a really helpful tool. Just locking these off so they look like the actual matchups. So there we go. We can see just based on how we have those boxed in what the, the rounds and the matchups are. So this is our base. And then go ahead and just highlight all that and copy that over to a new section. And here we can just make these all zeros. This is where we're going to put in the manual adjustments. And what I like to do for anything that I consider an input cell, I like to change the color of that cell. I could do a, a blue. Go to the color wheel and I like to select this blue right there. That's just personal preference. And so this will be our base. And then we can, obviously we can tweak. If we don't think there's any chance a 16 seed is going to beat Alabama, we could do something like that where it's minus 2.3 plus 2.3. So the 97.7 plus the 2.3 equals 100%. And then from there, we will add a another section. And this will be the area that we're going to actually reference in the bracket itself where the probabilities will pull through. And so for here, we're just going to take our base probabilities plus our manual adjustments. Just drag that formula down. You have nine to, to recalculate. So there's that 100% zero that we adjusted. So that's how, the, that's how that works. And then from there, we are going to 
just do a simple formula here, which is going to be, you can put 0% in for this and reference the, the first value up here. So grab that as, and do that for each one of the matchups in round one. And I'll explain what why we're doing it this way a little bit. This is a part of the that RAND function I mentioned at the beginning. Do F9 to calculate. And then we can go ahead and bracket those all in. So that's our, our round one table. And then from there we can do our sweet 16. So we will do the base plus our adjustment and then we can drag that down and from here we're going to do the zero for the first and then the second one is actually is going to be the same where we're going to reference that first block and then this next one is going to be equals the sum of the first two and you can go ahead and lock that Go ahead and do that, and then we'll do equals the sum of first three. And then do F9 to recalculate, and grab those four, and then copy those down. That's our sweet 16. Again, the math may look a little funky right now, but it's part of our RAND function and how we look up the probabilities. Then we will do our Elite 8, which is base plus adjustment. Drag that down. Do our zero, reference this, and then same as we did for some of those two. Here you can go ahead and you could do an absolute reference of that first cell and then drag that down. So we have our elite eight all reference and then copy this, to the second section. So zero, got that reference, and then we just need to update this be based on 14, drag that down, and then F9 to calculate. Okay, so there is our lead 8, and then one more time, this, this, drag that down, 0 for the first, equals the sum of, and you could do this where you do a Absolute reference there through that. So U6 or U6, but then we lock in that U6. And then we drag that down. Trying to recalculate. So you can see it's pulling all the sum cumulative except for the current line. And this is our final four. Okay, so that is the base plus our adjustments to get to the probabilities that we're going to be looking up in our table. Okay, so I'm going to pause there, um, let you kind of look at that, and I can format this real quickly so it makes looks a little bit cleaner. So there's the formatting. Just copy that in from the model I've already built out. I'll do that for all of the, the fields just so you can visualize it. Again, you can do the formatting however you like, but let's just summarize real quick because I know that was a lot of just doing formulas and not really understanding what all is going on there. Um, I do have some conditional formatting that I'm gonna go ahead and clear out. So we got our base probabilities we pulled in from historical data. We have an manual adjustment column, and then we're going to take the accumulation of that base plus manual to get the probabilities that we're going to look up in our actual bracket model that we will do that random function on that will produce different outcomes based on these values. So that's that's where we're at. Um, that's a lot to, to go over. I'm going to have a second video where we're actually going to now pull in these probabilities into the model and be able to create simulations off of. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching and God bless.